Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add getters and setters to the code which we have written in the previous video. To add getters and setters, first of all, getters and setters are used to access the private properties of a class. So, first we need to make this property make these properties as private. So, we'll make private int register number private string agency name private string package type private int price then private boolean private facility to make getters first we need to specify the keyword public so that it can be accessed outside the class then we have to specify the return type of the getter since we're creating the first getter for the register number return type will be integer followed by the name of the getter so usually we name, name it as get followed by the variable name it is register number then we just have to specify return this dot register number similarly we can create getters for all the other properties public string get agency name return this dot agency name public string package return this term package return then public string get price since price is integer so we have to Make return type as integer. <coughs> then we have to return this dot price. Then finally, public boolean get flight. Facility to return this term right? facility. So one once we created getters, we can create setters. To create setter, we need to spec first specify the keyword public followed by the keyword void. The return type of setters will always be void. Okay. Then the setter name. So setter set register number. In here, we'll just specify this setter will take an argument. Okay. Int register number. Since it register number is of type integer, then we'll assign this dot register number equal to register number similarly we can create setters for other properties public void agency name set agency name string agency Okay. 
this. This dot package type equal to package type. Then Price. Then finally, public void set flight facility. So once we have created getters and setters, now to access agency name, we need to write here get agency name instead of agency name. Okay. We just have to specify get agency name. Then instead of price, we have to specify get price. Here also get price. and instead of flight facility, we just have to type get flight facility. So register number we have to specify get register number. And so package type we need to specify get package type now you can see every error is gone so i'll run the program again okay I'll copy the inputs, paste, enter. You can see it is working, but this time we have used getters and setters. From the next questions, we'll be creating getters and setters while creating the class only, so that it would be easy for us to access variables. As you have seen in the previous video, we have written the program without using getters and setters, and we were able to run the program. Anyhow, that code was not standard. By using getters and setters, we are following the best practices and writing the standard code. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you like the video. Thank you for watching.